Hi everyone. I wanted to talk to you about some of the myths that you hear a lot about bunkers. Now bunkers are a much different shot than nearly any other shot that you're going to play in golf. You're not even trying to hit the ball, trying to splash the sand and then um, splash the sand and the ball all out at once. So you do need a slightly different technique. But having said that, there is um, it has become very complicated over the years and, I th and I'd like to sort of simplify it back down again and take away some of the things that you don't actually need to think about at all. Now, the first one is the fact that you should be leaning on your left side. Now, you can see our lady here is leaning on her left side, so she's obviously had that lesson. But the thing with a bunker shot is that it's a longer shot than most short shots, and that's why it's a bit anti-instinctive. It's a long shot, long swing for a short shot, so it, it, that's why they, it's quite a difficult shot. But you do need a decent length swing to get through the heavy sand and you need to transfer your weight back then through. So if you start with your weight on the front foot, that becomes more difficult. Now it's okay for those little chips and little pitches where you're not really transferring your weight much because it's such a short shot. You can put your weight on your front and that helps the club come down under the ball and hit, and hit you a little bit more crisply, which is what you want. But unfortunately with a bunker shot, your weight needs to transfer back and through. So if you start with your weight on the left, it's going to be much harder to finish with it on the left, which is so important. You'll tend to get into a reverse pivot where the weight ends up on the back foot. And that's where you'll start sculling the ball over the back of the green. So you want to make sure that you finish with your weight forward. And if you start with your weight more centered, not leaning on the left, then you're going to be more able to transfer your weight back and then through onto the front foot to finish you off. So that's really important. Number one, you don't need to lean on your left side. The other one is gripping right down on the grip. Now you can see our lady here, she, she's actually not gripping down on the grip, which is good. But the thing with a bunker shot is you need to get down below the ball. And when you grip down on a club, it actually shortens the length of the club. Now, if anything, we want the club to be a bit longer because it needs to go lower than the ball. So shortening the, gri the gripping down and shortening the club can be a little bit problematic. You tend to hit the ball first. You might scull a few. Now, having said that, if you're playing a very short, small, delicate bunker shot with pins right up the front, then you might want to grip down and shorten up your swing a little bit. But even on those, you still have to be very positive. So just be careful gripping down too far. I don't mind you gripping down a little bit. It gives you a bit more control, but you don't have to grip down right down onto the metal, which I do see quite a lot. So where this lady's got it here is pretty much fine. And don't overdo that. That's another real myth. The, the gripping down thing is a real myth. So let's take our lady through her uh, swing here and we'll just uh, pick it apart a little bit. And um, you can we can go through the technique here that you're going to need to play good, consistent bunker shots. So she's leaning a bit too much on the left, but that's okay. We've talked about that. So you want to center her weight a little bit. Her grip's a little bit too strong, meaning it's too much on top of the club. This will make the ball go low and left. Now, that's obviously not what we want in a bunker shot, and she's going to start compensating for that. So um, getting your grip right is so, so important in golf, more so for direction than anything, but it can also affect the height of the shot too. Now, you can see here that she has not really turned back very well and her weight's still hanging on that front foot a bit. If you had to work out where her weight was between the feet, you'd probably say it's a little bit more on the left than on the right. Um, and she's not really turning. She's dipping down a little bit into uh, the left shoulder's dipping down a bit. Now, unfortunately, with, with that, with bunker shots, is you're going to come down too steeply and you're going to take too much sand and you're not going to get the ball out. You want a nice level shoulder turn so that you can splash on a nice sort of shallow trajectory which is going to give you a consistent lift up of the ball each time so when you're tilting a little bit if you're a bit of a tilter you're going to struggle in the bunkers you're going to hit heavy and then in an effort not to hit heavy you're going to hit thin because you're going to try and lift it up and that's what our lady's doing here as she comes down into the shot she's trying to help the ball up you can see she's broken the left wrist and the left elbow in an attempt to scoop the ball up and out which is probably the most the number one most common fault in bunkers is this attempt to help the ball up she's, as you can see she's collapsed into a sort of very abbreviated follow through here in, a, in that attempt to help the ball up and the weight stayed back as a result of that weight being too far on the left side to start with see she's got that sort of uh, hands wrapped around her neck rather than high and the weights of back the back heel should be up off the ground at this point so if you go forward and just watch my swing here you can see that I've centered my weight and I'm going to try and hit down into the bottom of the ball and not try and lift it up let the club do it ideally so he'll go through mine 
Now you can see a bit less of the back of my hand there you can see which means it's more of a neutral grip which is going to give you a higher straighter shot. My weight is more centered which is going to allow me to transfer my weight back and through properly. Now you can see here I've got a lower uh, a sort of a more level shoulder turn I should say and the weight has transferred back. Now it's only subtle but you can see if you had to work out where the weight was between my feet you'd say it was slightly more on the back foot than on the front one. Now my weight starts coming through onto the front. My left arm stays straight. I'm not trying to scoop the ball up. I, I've played enough bunker shots to know that I can hit down and the club will lift it. That's just practice. You can do that too. Get out and get away from the comp. Get into a practice bunker somewhere and start hitting down and through with a nice straight leading arm and then start to trust the process and you'll start to see that the ball will lift. You don't have to help it up. And you can see here the weight's coming onto my front foot and you can see I've extended my arms out and away from myself which is a sign that I haven't tried to scoop the ball up. I've allowed the club to, to lift it up. So that's your key. So our two myths again are you don't need to lean on the front foot, you can centre your weight and you don't need to grip right down either unless it's a very short, dainty little um, bunker shot with pins right up the front. And then in our basic technique, we want to have a nice level shoulder turn so you can get a nice shallow splash. And we want the weight coming through onto the front. Don't try and help the ball up into the air. Let the club do the work for you. So splash down into the sand with a nice a straight leading uh, front arm. And then uh, let the club do the rest. So good luck with the practice. Spend a little bit of time on it away from any pressure and it'll just get better and better. Good luck.